your core values should be your North Star. They should be your guiding light. In every decision that you make, they should be in perfect alignment and in harmony with your core values and with your beliefs. But unfortunately, that's where a lot of groups stop. They've got the core values on their website. They've got them on their trifold brochure. But just having those core values and beliefs is not enough. You have to ask yourself, does every person on your team, in your school, in your organization or business, are they doing the things on a daily basis that are in alignment with those? So now we have to look at behavior. What is the behavior of every single person on your team every single day? Is it congruent with your core beliefs? See, we're either going to build culture or we're going to erode culture. And this happens with every person on your team, with every decision that they make. And while we're certainly not concerned with perfection, we do want to make sure we're motivated by progress. Which means it's so important for the vast majority of decisions made by the vast majority of your team to be in alignment with the culture that you're trying to create. And then ultimately, what is the experience that people have being a part of your team or organization? If you're in the school system, what is the experience that your students have? What is the experience that your teachers have? What is the experience in the community and with the parents of the children that are in your school? If you're in the business world, how do your colleagues and coworkers feel about the culture that you all have created? How about your customers and your clients? Are all of these things in alignment? And the most important part of all of this is it has to be done consistently. Culture is not something we can pay attention to just when we feel like it, just when we want to, just when it's convenient. Culture is an everyday thing. And one of the ways we can make sure that we heighten culture is if you can get every single person on your team to behave in a manner that is in alignment with the core values even when no one is watching. If you are the leader, if you are an athletic director, a school superintendent, if you are a principal, if you are a CEO, who, shoot, even if you are a parent, I'm the father of three, is ask yourself, how does my team behave when no one's watching? If you are the leader of your organization, how does your team behave when you are not there? Now, if you're worried that when you're not there that there is major slippage, if there is a major slide in performance when the head person is not there, then you don't have a very sound culture. Things need to be fixed. Because leaders create other leaders. Effective leaders know that they can step away to tend to something else and everything will be running smoothly. They know that while they add tremendous value to their organization, that if they step out, they've groomed the leaders next to them, thought leaders and decision makers who can keep this machine running. If you are the principal of a school, and, and you can't come to school one day, either you're sick or maybe you're off doing some professional development and everything falls apart the day that you're not there, then you don't have a sound culture and changes need to be made. Same can be said for a CEO. And I certainly know the same is true for me as a father. I wanna make sure that my children are behaving appropriately whether I'm watching them or not. And that is the ultimate litmus test. It starts, the foundation is making sure that our roots are strong that we have poured into ourselves so that mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, if appropriate to you, you are prepared to show up every single day as your best self and ready to contribute and to build and invest in your culture. And then once you do that, you'll have the exact same mentality with your teammates. You will do everything in your power to serve your teammates. And when you can do both of those things, then collectively, you'll have a lot less friction for those that you serve your members, your patients, your students, your athletes, your customers, your clients.